Today we're going to do some of this. Yeah. Alright, so we have a couple of clips here in our timeline. And what we're going to do is we're just going to blur out a the runner here to start out. So once we have our clip in, we want to come over to our color tab. And in the color tab, you can go through and add your color corrections. And then once you have everything set up, you just have to pick a, a good frame that has the person that you're trying to blur in it. So we'll use this frame here. And the first thing we're gonna do is come down to this lower part and we're gonna click on power windows. And I'm just gonna be doing a face, so I'm just gonna click on the circle. And then I'm just going to close all of this here. And I'm going to zoom in with my mouse wheel and shape, size this up to the size of her face here. Now we're gonna track and we kind of cross our fingers on this one. Okay, let's see how that tracked. We're just gonna come down here and mouse backwards. It tracked pretty well up until this point. So what I like to do is if it's somewhere like this, I'm just going to click this, click the arrow so it goes to where the keyframe started. And then I'm going to track the other way and it went behind, or the, the lady's face went behind. So this is just going to where it's last, the last spot that this was. We'll come back, it's right here, I think is fine. And what I'm going to do in this case, the object that I'm tracking is gonna be completely out of the scene at this point. So I don't need to track it anymore. So I'm gonna pick the spot, the last possible spot. So I would say like right there I'm gonna come over to frame. And what frame does is you can make adjustments on for that frame. If you're on clip, you're making adjustments for the whole clip. So the tracking that I have here so far, if I wanted it to be up a little higher, I just move it up. And now it's gonna have that same tracking data, but it's just the position's gonna be higher. I don't want that. What I wanna do is come over to frame. So we're gonna come back to the last spot. So like, let's say right there, I'm just gonna readjust it so it makes another frame. And then I will follow this back and I would say right there is fine. We can stop tracking her. I'm gonna come back one more and then I'm just going to move it out here. And what should happen is if we come to this uh, keyframe here, I'll just move it back out to here. And now this should stay out here the whole time. So it's out of the scene the whole time and then it comes back in once she's there, it snaps to her, and then it'll follow through. So now that it has followed through, we need to add a blur. And there's two different uh, blurs that we could use for this situation. We could come over here to the blur, and we could just simply move this up and then blur the face. So that's one blur that we could use, or we could come up to OFX and we could grab one of the blurs here, and I think that this is pretty common blur where it's like the pixels, and now we have a blurred head. And it looks pretty good. So I'll come back, and we don't see anything because remember it's off, off the frame, and then boom, it's right there where she is, and it'll follow her all the way through. Now let's come over to another shot and this shot I picked because I know I'm going to have a couple of problems. So with the previous shot, we tracked her face, right? So if I was to come into here, first off, we can see that it's very noisy. Um, our first shot here, we have a bottle. And as we go through here, um, she's at the bottom of the frame. She's just like skipping around. But the biggest thing with, with that's going on with this is we have a lot of colors because it's a nightclub. So we have a lot of colors going all over the place and we have, you know, a friend's hair is in, in the way of her face. So this one we might have to do a lot of manual work for, but we'll pick a good frame. So like, let's say this frame here and we'll try to see if we can track on her face, come over to tracking 
and let's track forward. So we moved around a little bit and then it stopped. It stopped because it's saying, oh, I don't know where the face went, so I'm gonna stop the tracker before it goes you know, haywire. So what I could do at this point is I could move the track window or um, I could come over to frame and uh, just restart it. So I could just click here and then maybe start it from here. See how this works. Okay, it's going all over the place. So for a shot like this, if I was to want to blur this, it's gonna be, the majority of this is all gonna be manual work. So let's just do it manually because it might actually be easier than dealing with that. So what I what um, I like to do here, if, if, if I'm doing it manually, is I have it on frame and I set my first keyframe, then I move it. And when, once it moves a lot, I try to, uh, you know, re-line it up and what ends up happening is if the movements are pretty fluent it's going to just take the placement that i that we had over here and then it's going the this frame is going to move over to here to this point and then we could keep going and it's moving up a little bit so far this is pretty good i would say right there is kind of revealing some of her identity so we'll go over that again and we'll move this up that's going to be my last frame then this frame we're going to take the blur off then we can just use our left and right arrow keys and then right here i'm going to just move it around here because what will happen is if i don't if i just uh, this last one, I moved it out. And then let's say this first one here, I move it on her, this whole space in between, it's going to be working its way out there. And I don't want that. What I want to happen here, right before, um, it goes on her face. I just, I wanted to make sure it's out here. So what will happen is it'll just move around out here and it'll stop. And then this next frame, it'll jump in. If the person's moving all over the place, obviously you're gonna to wanna to put a lot more keyframes, but because there isn't a ton of movement, she's staying relatively same place, it's fine just continuing like this. That's the end of it right there. So let's come into here, put the blur on it, and maybe something like that. And then let's see how this looks. Pretty simple, it's not that difficult if you needed to blur out someone's face. It could be time consuming if you have a really long shot and it's in a scene like this. Oh, look at that, you can actually see part of her face. Readjust this, just come down to here and click on power window and then this will pop back up again and then you could just readjust it. Once you readjust it and you're on frame, it'll just add another keyframe in there. And that's pretty much it, it's not that difficult at all. Like I said, if, if it's a longer uh, shot and it's in a, location like this where it's very hard to it's just going to take a little more time to do it but yeah with that being said let me know in the comments what you think about this one if you have any suggestions or recommendations on something else i should do in the future let me know down there as well again my name's jr and thanks for watching